Hi, my name is Sarah Bybee, and I'm going to teach you how to read music. This is part four, time signatures. A time signature tells us how many beats are in one measure of music. It also tells us what type of note gets one beat. If you remember, a time signature is located at the beginning of a staff next to the clef, and it looks like two stacked numbers. Some examples of time signatures would be 4-4, four, 6-8, four, 3-16, 7 2, and there can be many more. The bottom number of a time signature is very important. To the left, we have the beginning numbers, which are 1, 2, and 4. A 1 on the bottom suggests there is one whole note per beat. A 2 on the bottom, there is one half note per beat. And a 4 on the bottom is going to be the most common for beginners, and it is one quarter note per beat. The only numbers that can be on the bottom of a time signature are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and it can go on even further, but it most likely doesn't. You can see that the pattern is just the number is doubling each time. In this example, there is a 4 on the bottom. This would suggest that the quarter note gets the beat. In this example, there is an 8 on the bottom. That means that the eighth note gets the beat. The top number of a time signature is very important as well. It can be any positive number other than zero, and it tells us how many beats we will find per measure of music. In the top example, 7-8, you can see there is a 7 on top. That means that there are 7 beats per measure. The bottom example, 6-2, means that there are 6 beats per measure. This is a 2-4 time signature. The 2 on top suggests there are 2 beats per measure and the four on the bottom means that the quarter note gets the beat. Here are a few measures that show you what a measure of two four might look like. In the first measure, you can see two quarter notes, beats one and two. In the second measure, you can see a half note, which lasts for two beats consecutively. And in the last measure, you see two quarter rests, which means they are not making sound, but they do take up two beats. This is a three four time signature. The three on the top suggests that there are three beats per measure. The four on the bottom would tell us the quarter note still gets the beat. Some examples of three, four measures would be these three. The first measure, we have three quarter notes, one beat apiece. The second measure, we have a half note followed by a quarter note, which would equal three beats. And in the last measure, we have two rests followed by a quarter note. Two quarter rests equals two beats, plus the quarter note equals a third beat. Thank you for watching. I hope that clears up a little bit about time signatures. Look for part five soon.